Fire is nearly out. There's enough heat left there, really. It's not very cold. Were you happy with him? Yes, I was happy with him. Until the day he died. <laughs> well, that's something to be gained at any rate, isn't it? He was a monster sometimes, of course. You do know those black Irish rages. <laughs> yes, I remember them well. Why did you take him from me? I didn't. He came to me of his own free will. You must have known that. Anyway, he wasn't the sort of character that anyone could take away from anyone else. Well, you were prettier than I was. You know perfectly well that that had nothing to do with it. Either the spark is struck or it isn't. Anyway, it's very seldom the fault of any one person. Well, any one person can achieve a lot with determination. I wasn't going to tell you this before. I couldn't anyway. You could never gave me the chance. What are you talking about? There was someone else. Somebody else? Yes. Between the time he left you and came to me. I don't believe you. Believe me. It's quite true. Her name was Lavinia. Lavinia Parsons. Not that dreadful girl who played Ophelia opposite poor old Ernest. Yes, that's the one. Are you telling me this to exonerate yourself? No, May. I am not apologising to you, you know. I'm not asking for forgiveness, so I see no reason to exonerate myself. Charles fell in love with me and I fell in love with him and we were both married. And I have no regrets. <laughs> well, you're very fortunate. I have a great many. Well, don't. It's a waste of time. What became of your first husband? Webster, whatever his name was. His name was Webster Bennett. And after our divorce in 1924, he went to Canada. And he died there a few years later. You had a son, didn't you? Yes, I had a son. Hmm. Is he alive? He is. He went to Canada with his father. He's still there. He's had two wives. The first one apparently was a disaster. And the second one seemed satisfactory. And they have three children. Hmm. Does he write to you very often? No. I haven't heard from him in 17 years. Oh, I am sorry, Lotta. Really, sorry. Oh, thank you, May. That's very kind of you. I was unhappy about it for a long time, but I'm not anymore. He was always his father's boy, you know, more than mine. I don't think he really cared for me that much, except, of course, when he was little. Mm. Why did you come here? Was it, was it absolutely necessary? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure, I'm on a minute income of 200 pounds a year, and nothing saved. And my last two plays were both failures, and there was nothing else to be. I also found I couldn't remember my lines anymore. That broke my nerve. That's what got to me, too. <laughs> I was a slow study at the best of times, but not knowing the lines was intolerable and humiliating. <laughs> Even more humiliating than, than this. I refuse to consider this humiliating. I think we've both earned this, honestly. Really, I do. Perhaps we have, Lotta. Perhaps we have. Sure, look. Benita left a bottle of vodka. Would you like a sip? It's a very small one. <sighs> Lavinia Parsons. <laughs> he must have been mad. She was prettier than you and prettier than me. And a great deal younger than both of us. I must pick up some vodka tomorrow when I'm in Maidenhead. What sorts even are there? Sure, I don't know, sure. There's Tim over there and Smirnoff. They're all much of a muchness, really. Unless one happens to be a connoisseur. And none of us are that. Well, Lotta, we meet again. Yes, my dear, we meet again. Happy days. Happy days.